Russo made himself the champ. Go ahead, ma'am. Well, again, positioning yourself, you you don't know how long you're going to last there. You see the writing on the wall. You know that it's going to be in hist- etched in history with his name always there as the WCW champ. I mean, has anyone asked him why he did that? Is it oh that was good for business? I don't know. It was it was it quick. It, he was actually standing in quicksand and didn't maybe didn't know what to do. So maybe if I do this, there'll be talk and heat, and you know maybe it was all about heat or a situation. I don't know. I don't know what the guy was thinking back then. Um, but I do know that he cussed me out one time because I said how I felt about the whole booking situation, and he he came back and apologized. And um, you know, I just said I wasn't really you know. <laughs> keen on all of that booking and you know he said it was you know some of the best stuff and i said i i don't agree you know women wrestling in bra and panties and ripping off our evening gowns and wrestling in barbecue sauce and mocking jr that's when it hit rock bottom for me and that's i mean i just after that that's basically i just i had enough really there was so much that was compiling in that situation I mean, I get along with Vince today, but I just, I'm talking about all those years back then. I just, I couldn't stand that whole situation. It was toxic. It was a shit show and people were going to get what they could at the time, at the moment, because that, that was a sinking ship quick. Mm -hmm. Some people made some good money and I don't understand. A lot of those guys made a lot of damn money. And then here, you know. Today, a lot of them are filing bankruptcy, and I don't understand where did all those millions go? <laughs> like, what the hell do you do you do with all that shit? You know, like what the fuck, man? I understand people's private or people's private lives, and they have other reasons why they file bankruptcy after making gazillions of dollars. But you know, I just I'll never understand that. That's just not good financing, I guess. <laughs> Uh, it is what it yeah, is. it's absolutely embarrassing, and we're going to get to, you know, a couple of things later in the show. Um, we're going to wrap up with Russo here. He ends up getting a concussion and actually wears a helmet on TV. Mm-hmm. At some point, he's wrestling Booker T for the world title. Goldberg comes mm-hmm. down in an interference and spears him through... Uh, the door instead of the partial side of the cage. And so he didn't land out in the aisle. He landed up against a uh, a barrier and has said that he thinks Goldberg hurt him on purpose. Oh, for fuck's sake. (laughs) I mean, uh, that right there, and then you shoot it to me. I mean, for him to say that he was hit hurt on purpose, I don't, as much as he probably wanted to, because he was just, you know, just a, a guy living in his own arrogance at that time and you couldn't stand being around him. But I think that I don't think anybody, I I, I hope not. I, I don't think Go- it was Goldberg, right? Yeah, Goldberg. I don't think Goldberg would have hurt him on purpose. God damn. And for him to, you know, go ahead and spear him into the, um, uh, what, what did he see? Spear him into the, not the cage, but the, what was it? He speared him through the cage door and he ended up hitting the barrier. Yeah, the barrier. Okay. All right. It wasn't on purpose. Good Lord. I just, I don't understand the way of thinking. I mean, I don't know. Maybe something didn't go right. So he had to, he felt like he needed to say that. Why would you say that? What, what, where is his thinking to say something that about somebody? It'd be like me saying like they tried to actually they tried to kill me in the ring or something when you know what you signed up for this accidents can happen, you know, and if you're not there to protect yourself, I mean, what the fuck are you doing in a goddamn cage anyway with a helmet and all your goddamn bullshit that don't even know how to take a decent bump and you're in there doing that. Well, then, you know what? Shame on you. God damn it. Get me hot. <laughs> 